Hi guys, Sam here from Sam Does That. Just a quick tutorial today, um, I've put together a template for putting together YouTube banners which you can download in the link below. Um, it's formatted for CS6 but uh, it, sh it should work on previous uh, versions as well so if you've got CS5 or CS4 or whatever that should work as well but let me know if you need it in a different format and I'll help out as best as I can. Um, so what I've done here is the middle shows uh, the minimum area that the desktop is going to show. Uh, the second increment is the tablet, uh, which is kind of like what it'll look like on an iPad or Kindle Fire, for example. Um, and then the longest one, which is the one in the middle, is the desktop maximum one. So you can actually download this and uh, disable that one layer at the top, that folder which just says guides hide me before saving. And then you're just left with these just blue lines here, which you can use as kind of like guidelines to put together the best sort of banner that you can. Um, I've actually left a folder underneath just called insert your content here which, which just makes it a bit easier. You can just put everything in there and then hide and show it as you require. I've actually already put together a uh, uh, just a rough banner which I've currently got live. Um, once you're done there, once, that's, once you've put everything in uh, as you want it to be, you just hit file, save for web and then you're going to want to save it as a PNG. So just be mindful that the image can't go over 2 meg. If you need to, then you can pop up here, go to JPEG, and you can tweak the quality here until you have the uh, until you have an image size which is less than 2 megabytes but high quality. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just export this. Uh, I'm going to call it template2.png. And then if I dart back here, change my channel art, update it from the... Uh, from there, just uploads, and then it shows you on each screen what it's kind of kind of look like. On the desktop, it sort of looks like that. On TV, you've got a massive big red uh, box. So if you've got like a big photo or something like that, you can use that for it. And again with the mobile. So as you can see, it all sort of looks about bang on. And then you hit select, and that should just update the position for it. Perfect. So that's it. That's all. That's all there is to it. You can download the Photoshop file in the link below. Uh, let me know if you need anything else. Um, my name's Sam. Sam does that. You take care.